Okay, welcome back. So uh, you got a brief overview about the ensemble logical modeling process. And now we're actually gonna go even just a little bit deeper to show you from a, uh, I, let's say a turbo mode, how this actually works. So uh, one of the things that we wanna first point out is that the process itself is a three-part process. So we start by identifying core business concepts. And that's the first thing where we just list person, place, thing, event, and other concepts that come up. So what is it you do here? Um, what are the things you work with? That kind of thing to get the business users to discuss CBCs. Then we move into the natural business relationships and after that into the context, which of course in sequence, the hubs, the links, and then the satellites. Let's go ahead and take a look at the board. Okay, so as I'm working with the business users, one of the first things you might hear if we ask them, hey, what is it you do here? is they say, well, you know, we sell products uh, to customers. And I might ask a little bit more, like um, how, where does this happen? So they say, well, these uh, sales occur in our stores. And I might find out a little bit more about, say, what about the product? Uh, where does it come from? Uh, that kind of thing. I might find out more about who's involved besides the customer and the employee in the store. And it, again, just try to explore a little bit more with people. Uh, one of the things that could have come up, for example, is they say, well, we also have the idea of a line item for all the things that might be on a sale. So, okay. So once I've done that, I'm gonna go through and now try to identify where are those person, event, place, thing, features of this actual um, discussion that we're having with them in an Elm workshop. Okay, so here we've just identified a couple of the possible ones that are out there. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and list them. So we just have a list of the ones that are out there, etc. Now, as we build out this list, it's also gonna be interesting to know which ones of these things are a person, a place, a thing, an event, or other kind of concept. So person, event, thing, place, or another concept. Once we do this, we can start to ask questions like, are we missing something? And now here, for example, I've got no places. Was there anything that was like a place? So the store, we had, we had neglected to have the store on this when we first looked at it. And then I can also look in each column and ask, are these the same thing and or am I missing any? And in this case, I can see, for example, that an employee and a customer, well, they're really not the same thing. Am I missing anybody else? Mm, maybe. There's also vendors that provide things to us about our um, products. Again, this is basically just entirely business driven, so you can go through the process and see where it ends up. Once I'm done here, I can now just create cards for all these. So I'm gonna say, and hopefully I have a scribe that does this for me, which is great. I'll say there's a sale, there's a customer, I have an employee, I have a product, a line item. So let's see here, got a product, an employee. Products come from vendors, sales happen in stores, and line items. Line items represent some kind of a product on the sale. And so this is really the first phase, the step one of what we're doing. Let's go back to the slides. Okay, so what we saw on the board there again is just the first step here. And to recap what we did, we identified person, place, thing, event, other concept. We went through and categorized them to get a feel for, are there any of these that are actually the same? Are there any of these that are missing? Should we look for something else? And then we create post-it notes for each of them and just start to assemble them on the board. No secret here, but honestly, events tend to be central to holding things together. So you'll notice we put the sale towards the center. That's just a general guideline because as we get into the relationships, we'll move them around to where they need to be. And that's something we'll be doing as we go to step two in the next lesson.